communication. Essential to progress. Essential to understanding. Essential to defense. From signal towers to satellites. From smoke signals to computer screens. Signal has been synonymous with communication in the military. Signal has been the voice of command. In 1856, the first practical semaphore system was developed and the U.S. Army Signal Corps was born. Since its original activation in December 1944, the Signal Command has grown in size and responsibility. The voice of command has expanded to include the voice of community. Within 5th Corps, that voice is best exemplified by the 102nd Signal Battalion, the cutting edge of IMA. At the 102nd Signal Battalion, service is our mission, and we serve the 10 military communities and numerous units and agencies which make up 5th Corps. Expansion and modernization has brought with it a new language with many acronyms and phrases which often make signal folks difficult to understand. Seem like a foreign language? Almost. But learning a little of our language will help us speed up our service to you, our customer. Probably the two most commonly heard acronyms are IMA and CDUM. IMA, or Information Mission Area, consists of the people, equipment, and activities used to acquire, process, use, integrate, retain, retrieve, manage, and to secure information regardless of the medium or process. The Information Mission Area is made up of five major disciplines. Automation, communication, printing and publication, records management, and visual information. IMA involves the integration of these five major disciplines into systems, networks, and architectures within the strategic, sustaining base, and theater and or tactical arenas. Much of the IMA support provided to communities is channeled through the Community Director of Information Management, the c -DUM. Other services are available directly from the individual agency. The IMA was designed to facilitate the dramatic increase in automation, the use of computers and other hardware and software involved in data processing. As the Army uses more and more electronic means to handle information, nowhere is the impact of IMA more critical than in the battalion's automation mission. The 102nd Signal Battalion helps determine and plan automation requirements, develop and implement solutions, and provides technical advice, user hardware and software support, and implements the user and community automation architectures. Communication has taken on sophisticated and varied forms since its primitive beginnings, and despite technological advancements, the telephone remains the most commonly used form of long-distance communication. Decisions great and small are made daily by phone. The European Telephone System, or ETS, is a modern telephone system used by the U.S. forces throughout Europe. 102nd Signal Battalion operates numerous ETS sites, known as dial telephone exchanges, within the 5th Corps area. Some of these sites have dial service assistance, providing directory information and operator assistance functions. The European Telephone System in the 5th Corps area has the capacity of more than 20,000 lines. It has many features available to all subscribers, while some are for exclusive use. Your c -DUM office can assist in explaining use of the system, the features available, and how to activate them. The 102nd operates 10 telecommunication centers and one automated multimedia exchange, or AMI. The telecommunication centers provide worldwide message service to 5th Corps communities. Each center can provide printed hard copy and magnetic tape message service to customers. If you are new to this type of communication, or if you need a refresher, your c -DUM staff and servicing telecommunication center will assist you. 
The Defense Communications System, DCS, acts as a pipeline carrying all the traffic and connecting the ETS sites and the telecommunications centers. Defense communication stations serve to link the world using a variety of transmission means. Additionally, the 102nd operates and maintains high-frequency radio stations within the cemetery network. These stations provide a command and control capability for the theater nuclear forces. The Defense Data Network, DDN, allows users of computer systems to communicate with other users directly from their terminals. This network is controlled by the Defense Communications Agency and utilizes the Defense Communications System. DDN subscribers can send and receive messages to and from any other remote terminal or terminal host with which they have authorized access virtually anywhere in the world. The Defense Data Network is the pipeline for such forms of data communication as secure transmissions through the Digital Secure Network, DISNET-1, the Worldwide Military Command and Control System, WIMIX, or DISNET-2, the Sensitive Compartmented Information Network, SINET, or DISNET-3, as well as transmission of unclassified traffic through the military network, MILNET, which includes electronic mail. The office of your CDUM will answer your questions regarding DDM. The 102nd's printing and reproduction facilities provide predominantly offset duplication services. The support provided to the military community is for the official use of that community. Most community DUMs provide forms and publication management functions. They maintain a stock of most commonly used forms and a publications library. Under this IMA discipline, the community DUM is also responsible for implementing USER and Department of the Army policy regarding local publications and periodicals. The Records Management Program provides management of all recorded Army information regardless of media to create only those records that are needed and to ensure that commanders and staffs have ready access to all needed information in a usable form. The CDUM is responsible for providing guidance, implementing policies, and providing services relative to the Modern Army Records Keeping System, the Freedom of Information Act, the Privacy Act of 1974, the Official Use Only Program, and the Forms Management Program. Most of these programs carry numerous requirements and can sometimes be confusing. Your CDUM will provide assistance or information. The Records Management Area also includes official mail and distribution. The Administrative Services Division in each community is responsible for providing official mail functions and for handling distribution services within the communities. Visual information is the medium by which we receive the greatest quantity of information which guides us in our daily lives. The primary producer of visual information for 102nd Signal Battalion is the Media Arts Center in Frankfurt. Visual information is imparted to us through various means. The Media Arts Center provides the following services. The Graphics Department provides support to 5th Corps with illustrations and state-of-the-art computer-generated graphics. Professional photographers handle the Department of Army official photos as well as passport pictures and special events. Multi-image production supplies 5th Corps entities with professional multi-projector slideshow presentations. TV5, the television production division of Media Arts, provides broadcast quality documentary, training, and news video for 5th Corps. IMA has created a lot of challenges for both the 102nd as the implementers and for you as users. But we are committed to providing you, the customer, with the best possible user-friendly service. Our people are the best in the business, and we're here for one reason only, to make IMA work for you. We are here to meet the challenge, to set the pace, and to accomplish the objective. We are the cutting edge of IMA.